everybody, it's Anthony Decker here, Decker Real Estate Group, out here getting things done as only Decker can, doing things in a timely manner. What we're going to talk about today is the home buying process. So there's an entire process to buying a home, uh, just like anything else, right? If, we, if you bake a cake or if you bake some brownies, you look on the back of the box, there's directions, right? Preheat the oven to 350. Um, you know, get your get your mix out. Put your mix in a bowl. You know, add your oil, add your water, add your eggs. Mix it all together. Put it in the pan. Depending on what kind of pan you use, you know, 13 by 9, 9 by 9, round pan, whatever, different, different cooking times. Buying a home is exactly the same way, right? And you can bake a cake or bake brownies and not follow the directions, but most of the time, it's not gonna turn out as well as you had hoped. And buying a home is the same way. You can not follow the home buying process and it is going to be a very painful experience, right? Filled with anxiety um, and loss of money, all kinds of things. So. We're gonna cover the home buying process really quickly. Super easy, super simple. I'll go into more detail uh, with later, uh, later uh, videos. So what we're gonna talk about is number one, you have to sit down with a lender. Before you look at homes, before you get on Zillow, before you get on realtor.com, before you go to open houses, get with the lender, very important. Number one, to establish a budget that you're comfortable with. Two, to see what your buying ability is in today's market. You may want a $300,000 house, but due to your debt to income ratio of you know, two cars and student loans and whatever, maybe your buying power is only 175,000 in today's market. Well, if you can only buy a $175,000 house, there's no point in looking at $300,000 houses, right? It doesn't fit. Um, so you got to get with the lender. See what loan programs you're you're available. For. Are you uh, you know are you available for USDA? Are you available for Kentucky Housing? Are you available for VA? What are all the different fees associated with those loans? And which loan program is best going to work for you? Now, once you have your approval, super easy, super simple. Get with a, a high protein, high octane realtor uh, and start your home search. Right, Mr. and Ms. Realtor, I'm approved for $175,000 house. Great. We're going to set you up. We're going to set you up on a home search. Anytime a new listing becomes available of $175,000, automatically email to you. That way you don't miss it. Also, we're going to email you everything $175,000 and under that's currently on the market to see if any of those fit your needs. You'll go through maybe two or a few. If they don't meet your needs, the home search continues. If you find one that you like, you write the offer. It's the next step in the process. You write the offer, you get everything negotiated as far as price and terms. Once that is complete, you will uh, schedule your home inspection and go over that with your home inspector and your real estate agent. Uh, to see if there's anything on the home inspection that's a major deficiency, you know, structural, electrical, HVAC, plumbing, uh, all those major uh, high dollar um, items. Once you get that negotiated, then you move on to the appraisal process. You'll get with your financial institution, order that appraisal. Then you'll wait, the appraisal will come in, the value will either be good or not good, depends. If it's good, you move on to uh, underwriting where the underwriter will, will review everything and then it comes back out of underwriting, always with conditions. It never goes through on the first time. Conditions, it sounds like a scary word, it's not. Conditions simply means there's stuff that needs to be updated. Bank statements, pay stubs, um, maybe you had a yard sale and you deposited the money into your bank account so you have to have a letter of explanation where did this cash come from right did you sell drugs no had a yard sale letter of explanation 
after you get all your conditions met, then it gets sent back to underwriting for a second time, gets re-reviewed, you get issued the clear close, you close on the house, and depending on how your offer was negotiated, either you get keys the same day or you wait to get keys depending on what you guys agreed on um, and everybody's happy and then 30 days after closing you'll you'll start making your house payments that's how the process works um, if you don't follow the process there you, you can lose a lot of money potentially uh, you can lose your earnest money deposit because you're not uh, you're not following um, the, the contract as it's outlined as you agreed to it you can lose your home inspection money you can lose um, your appraisal money uh, all this stuff because that, those are buyer paid items that if you don't follow the process um, you have to pay because it's not guaranteed because if you if you skip around in the process if you, if you move to step four before if you do step four before you do step three you know, the house may appraise, but then you do the home inspection and the seller doesn't agree to do the repairs. Well, you're out your money. It's why you always do the home inspection before you do the appraisal. Because if you can't get repairs negotiated, then at that point, you don't order the appraisal, right? So you're just out your home inspection money, not both. So hope this clears everything up. If you guys have any questions about the home buying process, let me know. Um, be happy, more than happy to help you out, sit down with you, see where you're at in the home buying uh, process with your home buying journey, uh, help you get to where you want to go. So if you guys have any questions about buying or selling or you need Decker to get it done for you, shoot me a call, send me a text message. That's what I'm here to do. 270-256-3501. Thank you guys.